All right, it's the time of year that you've probably been wearing your boots super hard all summer long and haven't cleaned them or oiled them once. We're gonna show you how to do that here today. So this is just a pair of lettuce pickers. You can use the same uh, philosophy on any other style of boot. Um, the first thing that I would do is just, you know, assess where it's dirty and what you need to do. If you just kind of do a blanket treatment on this whole thing and don't get into places where you need to clean it most, then you might, you know, go through this whole process, go to oil it, and then at that point in time, still see dirt where you don't need it. So one area that you need to look at a lot is right here along the stitching that just holds a lot of dirt and grime, things like that. Anywhere where they're stitching, just kind of focus there. The one thing I will say when you go to clean, so this is a, a plastic bristled brush. Don't use anything as far as a uh, metal, uh, I'm trying to think what that is called, wire brush, goodness sakes. Um, use something like this. If you're going on a stitch line, go ahead and use it with the stitch. But if you're going anywhere else, try to use a circular motion. You would be surprised at what this will do as far as making lines and creases and things that you might not want on there. So assess where you need to go to clean it. Use something like this. I like to, some people use saddle soap. Um, I don't always just have that around. So what I like to do is use a little bit of dish soap um, and water and just get in there as quick as I can and get out. Try not to soak the boot if I can. Then what I will do is make sure that these boots dry as slowly as possible. If I were to get these boots super wet, take them outside where it's super hot, they would actually shrink in places and sometimes shrink and crack. So if you are going to get it wet, try to let them dry slowly just so that, you know, contrast and temperature doesn't do that to them. Then you got to decide, you know, budget wise, what you're going to use to recondition them. I forever used mink oil. I still do. I found this stuff. It's got all kinds of, you know, fun stuff in it. Uh, a lot of people use this for saddles. I think anything that's got mink oil or I think balsam, I don't know what all the oils are. There's stuff that you would use on a saddle, use it on your boot. Okay. So once you've got your desired oil that you're going to use, then make sure you have a clean space to do it. Then I just put on as much as I can um, without it being gloopy. So basically like this boot, I'll just demonstrate, even though it's not perfectly clean, just get some on a sponge, on a rag, and just start. I like to start at the toe, doesn't really matter, but just make sure you use a circular motion and you cover it all. Get down into where those laces are up here. Everywhere you can think, just get a nice even coat. At that point in time, so you'd keep going, then let that dry as slow as it can dry. And then if it looks like it's still dry, add another coat. And at that point in time, basically I know to be done when I feel like it looks wet all the time. And then I'll take a rag and just get off all the extra just so it doesn't collect any more dirt. But that's basically how I keep my boots nice. In a typical summer, I try to remember to do it once a month in the winter when it's drier, when it's wetter, I might do it more. It's one of those things that if you like your boots, take care of them. So this is just a simple way to make sure to clean them and then oil them, keep them nice. That'll keep them lasting forever. So if you like this video and want to see more videos just like this, please like and subscribe to the Startup Cowboy channel.